So I find that it's really good to like, give them a little something, then ask them a question, then give them a little something and ask them a question. I feel like if you're talking for more than like 30 seconds, you've talked too much. One of the most frustrating things about being vegan is having meat eaters constantly argue with you. Luckily, they always bring up the same arguments and have inspired two activists to write eBooks debunking their common claims. Today, I'm sitting down with Justin of Debug Your Brain to discuss what Earthling Ed and Lifting Vegan Logic said about the argument, eating meat is my personal choice. It's also down to my own personal choice. Let's start with what Danny said. Typically, this is remarked under the premise that eating animals is a victimless choice, but this is just not the case. But the fact is that paying for animal products involves a victim being harmed, exploited, and killed. Therefore, this justification does not apply to eating animals. If by personal choice they mean it's their own choice, well, Serial killing is also a choice. Immoral behaviors in general are personal choices, yet they remain morally wrong. I think that's pretty good. I think the personal choice one is one that can be dismissed pretty quickly. I, I don't think it requires quite as many examples or any sort of like empirical data like some of these. So to me, like when you say it's a personal choice, you know, like sometimes I'll say, yeah, that is a personal choice. You know, like if I walked over and bought a new hat, that would be a personal choice. You know, if I if I drove my car around the block three, three times, that's a personal choice. If I punched a child in the head, that's a personal choice. <laughs> You know what I mean? But that doesn't necessarily make them good choice. Or, well, I would say, do you think that makes it a good choice? Like, just because it is a choice. Um, so I, I think there you probably don't need a lot. I kind of like the serial killer thing. Yeah, I think I like the serial killer thing. I think that's fine. Like, yeah. I don't think that's going to draw too much. I don't think that's going to draw too much, uh, like, ire or, or, I don't know, defensiveness. It just seems fairly straightforward. Yeah. I think I would make this mistake, like, in the beginning of trying to differentiate between choice and personal choice. Do you think it is a personal choice? Absolutely, it's a personal choice whether or not you eat meat or not. So I was basically trying to get people to see that it wasn't a personal choice. Mm -hmm. And it was like they weren't willing to to give me that or something. Let's say there was a dog walking and I started beating the dog. Would that be my personal choice? Yeah, when that dog bites you, that's that dog's personal choice as well. Sure, sure. I guess what I'm trying to get at is I think that it's certainly a choice. But to me, personal choice means it only affects you. Would you agree with that or no? I don't know. So I think yeah. it's better to not even differentiate and just say, just say it's a personal choice, but is that a good choice? Exactly. It's probably the, the fastest way to deal yeah. with that objection because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if they're just gonna consider everything a personal choice, then right. just let them, it's still yeah. not a good one. Yeah, and, and I think there's also like regional differences here as to what a personal choice means. Because like, to me growing up, we like personal choice literally just meant, um, in this most literal sense, it's something that you chose to personally do. But like it didn't, I guess I, when I was growing up, I didn't feel like it had the connotation of like not harming someone else or like not affecting anyone else. Like it just literally was like, yeah, that's my personal choice. Like I just did this thing. And so like, I think some people actually don't even like, that's not part of it to them. You know what I mean? They're not yeah. thinking they're, there's a difference between like a victimless choice and a, and a victim full choice or something. A <laughs> victim full choice, <laughs> really yeah. Gonna... No, that, yeah. That's interesting. Cause yeah, yeah, I've kind of felt like the opposite. Like I, whenever I think personal choice, I think like, oh, that only affects me, mm -hmm. which clearly these things don't. So yeah. yeah, maybe it is a regional thing. That's. It's weird. And then I always go back to like, you know, times of like COVID or whatever, when people are like, my body, my choice. But then people mm -hmm. also say that about like abortion. So I feel like yeah. choice can just be used for any agenda that people yeah. want. Yep, yeah, I agree. That's why like, I like to say like, just because it's a choice, does that mean it's a good choice? You know what yeah. I mean? And, and what are they going to say? Like, yes, all choices are good choices. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's absurd. You Every know I mean? single choice ever <laughs> yeah. is very good. Yeah. yeah, that would be a pretty, pretty tough bullet. <laughs> right. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about was um, I read How to Argue with Vegans, Benny Malone. Yes. And yeah, he made the point that, that it's a personal choice is what's called a thought terminating cliche, <laughs> which is basically just something yeah. people say to like get out of talking about it. So when I look at it from that frame, I feel like it makes it a lot easier because, you know, it's like, oh, it's a personal choice or like, let's agree to disagree. Like those are just thought terminating cliches mm -hmm. so they can be treated as such. What the person's trying to do is get out of the conversation. 
but but you're not gonna let them because you're a good <laughs> a good vegan activist and you won't let people get away with that kind of shit. Now let's take a look at Ed's answer. This is quite an interesting excuse as arguably it is a choice. One does actively choose to eat dead flesh and animal secretions the same way that a racist actively chooses to be racist or a rapist actively chooses to commit rape. Using this logic, it would then be morally justifiable to beat a dog or kick a cat as it is a personal choice to do so. In this situation, ask the person, if someone makes the personal choice to abuse a dog, does that make it morally justifiable? The problem is when non-vegans use this argument, they have either become so detached from the fact that their animal products come from a living being, or they hold animals with such little regard that they don't consider the lives of their food worthy of contemplation because they think the consumption of animal products only affects them as individuals. He then says it's ironic that vegans are told to respect others' views because we do respect the views of the billions of land animals killed for food, the dairy cows whose babies are stolen from them, the trillions of fish who are suffocated to death, the animals used for their skin and their fur, and more. So when people so defiantly tell us to respect the views of others, the question is, which other viewpoint are they considering other than their own? When someone uses the my personal choice argument, simply ask them, what about the personal choice of the animal who wants to live? Have you considered their choice? Mm, okay. Yeah, so that's, I think that's like, that's nice as like an exhaustive argument to be like, I feel like that's like an argument that you read and is convincing. But yeah. in, in person, you just really need one example. Because, like, yeah. this is something, too. Like, if you flood people with too many examples, like, if you do too much talking in a row, like, people's eyes will glaze over. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, yeah. the, and you don't want them lo just losing interest in general. You want them engaged. So I find that it's really good to, like, give them a little something, then ask them a question. Then give them a little something and ask them a question. I feel like if you're talking for more than, like, 30 seconds, like you've talked too much. <laughs> like, yeah. you need to like flip yeah. it around on, on them. Let's see how Ed handles this in debates. I would argue that everyone have their own choice. And I agree that, that whether or not we're vegan is, is absolutely a choice. But I believe that everything that we do is a choice. You know, you sat down, that was a personal choice. Yeah. But at the same time, something more malicious, like yeah. a, a mugging or assaulting someone, that's a choice. Right. So do you right. think that just because we personally choose to do something, that, that provides a moral justification for the action? If you missed part one, go over to Justin's channel and see us tackle the humane myth. In the meantime, special thanks to my morally superior patrons, Amy, Andy, Deepak, and Rebecca.